Hello, I'm Kev, your living proof that you're never too old, and I'm back again in my secret garden unboxing zone um, for this month's Geek Fuel Box um, for July 2016. Now, I've never had this box before. I have no idea what sort of thing to expect from within it. So let's have a little look to see what's inside. Oh, it's all snazzy and nicely packaged. And look at that, the magazine has fallen out. Do we spoil things by having a look at the magazine first? Of course we don't. Does it Oh, Ghostbusters, Star Trek. I don't know if I'm going to like this box. Right, let's have a little look at what we've got in here. So the first thing we have is a Geek Fuel exclusive Ghostbusters button with um, a ghost on it and a no ghosting sign. Um, that's the Ghostbusters symbol, I believe. There you go, that's a Geek Fuel exclusive. I mean, it's pretty cool if you're a Ghostbusters kind of chap. I'm not really but um, pretty cool all the same. Eight-year-old me would have loved that, so um, I might see if I can pop it in a time machine and send it back to him. So, part one, what else have we got in here? We have Aliens playing cards, I think, from the United States Playing Card Company. There you go, they're for Aliens. Again, not really a franchise I'm that into. I probably should start being a bit more selective with these boxes and picking ones that I know I'm going to like. But they're poker size, made in the USA, playing cards. I'm not going to get them out of the box um, because it's aliens and I'm probably never going to use them. But we'll pop it down there. What else have we got? We have... Aha! There we go. Something to do with uh, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. It's amazing wall graphics. That's, do we have anything in there at all? It's a sticker, there you go. A Plants vs Zombies sticker that, I mean, I guess it says wall graphics. It's almost certainly gonna make it onto my laptop along with all the other stickers. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's a half decent game. Anyone who doesn't like Garden Warfare doesn't like fun. So um, we'll pop that back in there for now. Weigh it down with playing cards. What's this big thing here? I feel like this is probably something to do with Ghostbusters again. Isn't this the thing that they slide out and then it opens up? Oh, that's very cool. It, slide it out, it opens up, and inside it we have a t-shirt. Let's whip the t-shirt out of there and have a look at this. That's actually a pretty cool shirt. I know I'm not massively into Ghostbusters, but I like that shirt. That's very cool. And I like the way it was packaged. That's just a nice little touch. It shows they're thinking about it, trying to make it all the more awesome. I'll put it back in there. There you go. Catch Slimer again back in the box. God, there's loads in here. What's this? This is Badland Game of the Year Edition. Downloadable game and air freshener. That's awesome. I already have the game. Um, I have a Steam code on the back of there, so I need to be careful not to turn it around so you can steal my game. Um, Ah, I turned it around. Never mind. I'll have redeemed the code before you got that. Probably, and there you go. Challenge to myself. There's the code. See if it works. I might not have redeemed it yet. And if I haven't, you can steal the game from me. But there we have the air freshener as well for Badland Game of the Year Edition on consoles and PC. I've obviously got the PC version because it's a Steam code. What else have we got in here? We have Anna's going to want this. I need to keep this hidden from her. We have a Doctor Who shower curtain. I've just had my portal shower curtain confiscated because uh, apparently it was all dirty and we've got a grown-up shower curtain at the moment. Um, but, I mean, although I'm not really, well, I'm not at all into Doctor Who, I do like to have a nerdy shower curtain and there's a good chance this is going to make it up into my bathroom. And as it says on there, makes your shower bigger on the inside, which is no bad thing at all. What else is this? It's a trap. Oh, it's just telling me about... Ah, oh, there you go. It's telling me everything that was in here. So the stuff that was exclusive, the shower curtain was exclusive, the pin was exclusive, the air freshener was... Ex it says air filter, but I assume it means air freshener. That was exclusive as well. And that's the full list of everything that was in July's Geek Fuel box. So to recap, we had the awesome T-shirt that was really well packaged. I really like the T-shirt. We had the Plants vs. Zombies zombie sticker. We had the... Um, Doctor Who shower curtain, the Badland uh, game and air freshener, we had the Aliens playing cards and we had the Ghostbusters pin. All in all, that's actually a pretty decent box and I get the feeling in future months when it's got some franchises that I'm big into on there, there's some pretty cool stuff. I like the fact there's lots of exclusive stuff in there, it's very cool. The t-shirt, even though I'm not a Ghostbusters fan, really like the t-shirt. 
the sticker is good the idea of giving away a downloadable game very cool as well and you can never have too many sets of playing cards so all in all a pretty decent box and um, if you're interested in trying out geek fuel for yourself details down in the description of this video for how you can sign up for that using my affiliate link and help support the channel and support me and allow me to pay for all these silly boxes that i subscribe to each month um, so if you want to sign up using that we very much appreciate it if not go and find a cheap deal sign up free that way i'm sure i'll live uh, if you've enjoyed that episode, make sure you pop a like on there for me, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and thank you very much for watching.